Star Wars is a multi-zillion dollar global phenomenon. And before the latest movie comes out, we step inside the life of a man for whom Star Wars is a way of life. When you're a Star Wars fan, you have to pick and choose stuff that you want to collect. You can't collect everything. First of all, this is my 1978 Millennium Falcon. This is an original B-Wing fighter from Return of the Jedi. These action figures right here actually are pretty rare because they have extra long lightsaber. These are all kind of oddball figures. This is Darth Maul's brother, Luke Skywalker as a baby. This one's one of my favorites. It's George Lucas in the Stormtrooper costume. It was either sold in France or, or Mexico. It's Japanese. How important a role does Star Wars play in your relationship with your son? It's a huge bonding thing, especially now that he's a teenager and he's really, really rebelling. It's nice to be able to put a movie on that we can both enjoy together. Uh, my favorite figure is probably the Jedi Luke. It goes back to when I was a little kid. I wanted that figure so bad. My sister picked to wear her tutu from her ballet classes and I picked my Han Solo action figure. I actually named my cat Ahsoka Tano. She's hiding somewhere. How do I get He's got a Yoda voice box. You haven't even priced how much this is worth. Yeah. You don't care in a sense. Mm -hmm. I don't, um, it's, it's all about the feeling and remembering what it was like when I was a kid and still being able to get that feeling. You know, with the new movie, like getting that excited as I was when I was six. That's the force. Yeah, and then they actually. Oh, they, <laughs> they cool together. Will, will someone wear this? I modified it to make it look more like the like movie accurate. This guy right here is the vintage 1977 Darth Vader, probably 78 actually. But this is the first female stormtrooper. These are all the toys from the new movie. I had a nice conversation with her, like I named my cat after your character. And of course, Billy D. Williams. They always fall out. Of this one. Ah, see, Darth Vader with his vinyl cape. This was a mail away emperor figure. You had to buy a certain amount of action figures when you were a kid and then mail away the little proofs of purchase. And this is from years and years and years of collecting. It's been a lifelong obsession.